Alright guys, Dave's here. Today Darren, I'm going to take some old scrap pine I've got laying around right here and I'm going to make this. If you want to see how I do it, stay tuned. Okay, set your saw to rip four inches and one eighth. Now I set me a, a stop block here. It's 20 inches. We need to rip eight of them. So let me square off the end here. Okay, I cut nine of them. I'm going to use one for a test piece during when I do the dados. Okay, now we need to install the dado blade. Be sure you got your machine turned off and unplugged. Okay, measure out enough that it's going to be the width of your wood and put the nut back on there and make sure you've got them spaced so they're not touching each other here and everything. Okay, use a backer board here to keep the tire out to the minimum. I've got it set up one inch from the end here. We'll do this side, then we'll flip it over and do the other side. Now I moved it six and three quarters, so we'll make some more slots here. Well, as you can see here, I still got some tire out on it, so I'm going to use some of this wood filler here and if your wood filler gets a little dried up just put you add you a little bit of water to it but I'm gonna take some of it and kind of mash it in let me do this to the rest of them here and then I'll let this dry for down two three hours and we'll sand it off Okay guys, for the X's, I measured over two and five eighths. And I made me a mark on the board at two and five eighths mark. And I'm gonna put some painter's tape over the line. And maybe that'll help out the tear out some. Let's try it and see. Okay, well that didn't help out any. I need to make me a zero insert for this. But that'll be a later project. So I'm gonna finish up these and I'll get back with you. Okay, besides the tire out, you got two pieces, they're six inches long. We'll stick them together. Like that right there. And this is gonna be our X's. 
I'm going to put a little putty on there and then sand it, then we'll paint these. Okay, once I've got this sanded and everything, I dry fit it and make sure it fits and everything before we stain it here and everything. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, a couple spots a little tight, but uh, you, know, you can hammer it in place. You don't have to put no glue on these. So let's take them and stain them. Okay, I decided I'm gonna stain it with it already put together. It was a little tight putting it together and I put the stain on there and everything and then the finish it's gonna make it even tighter. So um, I'm gonna use uh, Minwax Dark Walnut stain on it. Got me a brush and gloves so let's get started. Okay guys, I put the, the X's in there after I painted it down, I just slide in. And I'm using the double rows of toilet paper in this, so I mean, you know, if, if you've got bigger toilet paper than that, you would have to make it a little bit bigger, you know, you stick your toilet paper in there. It makes it look like I've been playing tic-tac-toe. I seen this on Pinterest and I thought I could make that and that'd be pretty handy. I always need a place to put my toilet paper. So I hope somebody learned something from this. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm.